Yeah, and it's uh, kind of rinse and repeat. We've got a chance for showers and thunderstorms just about every single day. Yeah. So at the end of the week, you should have at least some rain in your yard. And for some of you, maybe too much, you know, tonight and then again tomorrow, it will be stormy with a flood threat as well as a damaging wind threat. Thursday, we may get uh, fewer storms out there. Temperatures close to 90 degrees, but then that storm coverage increases again Friday, Saturday and Sunday. And on Saturday and Sunday, it may not just be an afternoon event. It may be one of those situations where it's kind of off and on throughout the day. We've got temperatures right now. They're in the 70s and close to 80, which you would say, hey, that's nice, right? But when you've got dew points in the 70s, it's pretty sticky air and very muggy conditions. Our weather impact for you for tonight and even again tomorrow is for heavy rainfall in some spots, some two plus inches of rain possible. There's also a risk for isolated severe storms. We do have a flood watch that's out. It includes our mountain and photo communities until midnight. We've also got an aerial flood advisory that's out until 745 this evening for Surrey County, and that is because in this community we already have evidence of flooding with water covering the road near the intersection of Holly Springs and old US 52 South in the Westfield communities. So remember, please be careful if you do have to drive out. You never want to drive through water. You don't know how deep it is, unfortunately, until it is too late. Oftentimes now you can see the rain Fall totals some three to four inches there near Westfield and Dobson and some one to two inches across much of the county. There is some rain overhead right now, but that is moving out and not quite as heavy as it was earlier. We also had some two to three inches of rain right along the Virginia North Carolina border and we have a flood warning, a flash flood warning up until 845 tonight for these communities. Thankfully too, the heaviest rain has kind of shifted south and east so those waters should start to recede. But you can see really heavy downpours over Rockingham and Caswell County. Some flashes of lightning as well. Rainfall totals where we've had it today have been in excess of an inch in many communities, close to two and three inches, even out toward Wilkes County. Again, the heaviest of the rains on the map right now are over Caswell and Rockingham County. We will still have a chance for showers and maybe an isolated severe storm up until later on tonight. With that heavy rain and damaging wind threat, make sure, of course, to Today and tomorrow that you have a way to get your severe weather alerts. We did have one area where we had some damage. This was in Gibsonville with a downed tree just before three o'clock there in Alamance County. So we're going to continue to have at least a few showers in our forecast through the evening. Maybe some isolated rumbles of thunder tomorrow. We're in that marginal risk for severe weather again. So you'll watch tonight's radar map. It's not real intense tomorrow morning. We've got clouds. We've got really thick fog in areas where we have had the rain toward lunchtime. We're heating up and we're getting those showers and storms to start to develop and then they will push into our area, especially by tomorrow afternoon. So we're looking for temperatures tomorrow once again to make a run at 90 degrees. Storms should be in the afternoon and evening for the Piedmont Triad, so should be pretty dry before lunchtime. In the foothills, it may be a little bit sooner in the afternoon with a high of 86 tomorrow and in the mountains, we may get some storms by late morning midday and then have them taper off some as we head into the late day hours with temps close to 80 degrees. Perhaps a little bit of a break on Thursday and then we ramp things up again. Notice that the temperatures are down Saturday and Sunday. That's because the clouds are up and we're looking at more widespread shower and thunderstorm coverage on those days.